in, in reality, the removal of Cuba from the state sponsored terrorism list doesn't actually do much. Uh, still, all the financial and economic restrictions are in place as codified under law by Helens Burton. But what it does is it allows the U.S. and Cuba to be able to move to the, to the next step, which is the reopening of embassies in Washington and Havana. Uh, there are those uh, in the U.S., particularly Republicans uh, on Capitol Hill, who, who have expressed their opposition uh, to this decision, saying that, uh, that this is uh, essentially a reward to the Castro uh, regime. How, how should we respond to that? Well, I think, I think, first of all, it's important to point out that, that the Cuba issue is not a Republican or Democrat issue. This is, this is really a bipartisan issue. Uh, we, we did a poll at the Atlanta Council last year that found the majority of both Republicans and Democrats favor a normalization of relations with Cuba. And there are senators like Senator Jeff Flake from Arizona, a Republican, who's leading the charge to end the travel ban, along with Democrats as well. You know, I, I think insofar as a reward to the Castros, we can't look at it this way. This list is not a list about who's naughty and who's nice. This is a list about what are, country, what are the countries in the world that are realistically sponsoring terrorism. And the three countries that remain, Iran, uh, Syria, and Sudan, are all countries uh, that the U.S. has found ha have supported terrorist movements in the last, in the last uh, few years. So, uh, just in looking forward then, in, in terms of the overall uh, path to, to, to reconciliation, how do you see this going and, and how, how does this uh, affect uh, U.S. relations with the, the, less, the rest of Latin America? It's a great question. Well, I think that this, the, the announcement today is a significant step in, 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 in the uh, uh, furthering of relations between the U.S. and Cuba. The next thing that we should see is the reopening of, of embassies in Washington, Havana. And then you're starting to see movement here in Congress to slowly start to chip away at the, 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 the enormous number of sanctions that are codified under law as part of Helms Burton. One of the things that, that's being worked on right now is removal of the travel ban, because right now Americans can only travel to Cuba uh, under certain types of, of categories for uh, educational purposes or, or research purposes. And so I, I think that, that we're going to continue to see a, 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 a momentum in, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the relations between the two countries. And this is, this is an important step forward.